The Root of Chinese Qigong Kidneys and the Weather Your kidneys are yin organs. When the weather is cold, especially during the winter, the surrounding air is also yin, and the qi level of the kidney is diminished. When this happens, the qi flow will be sluggish at the back sluggish and the back will become sore and ache especially the lower back it is therefore important that the kidneys area be protected so that the chi will not be lost out of your body the best method is to wear warm clothes especially around your waist in addition you should learn a few massage techniques to improve chi circulation in the kidney area and use the chi in your hands to nourish the kidneys We will now discuss a few massage techniques which are commonly used in Qigong. Massaging the kidneys directly. This is the most common technique. Use the center of your palms to rub the back over the kidneys with a circular motion. The tops of both circles should move inward towards each other. There is a qi gate or cavity called lao gong. In the center of your palm, this cavity belongs to the pericardium. The pericardium includes the blood vessel which enters into the heart and the membranous sac which encloses the heart. In the Chinese medical theory of the five elements, the heart is classified as fire and the kidneys are classified as water. Therefore, when you use the center of your palms to massage the kidneys, you are using fire to warm up the water and are therefore nourishing the kidneys. When you massage the kidneys with a circular motion, the top of the motion should be inward. In order to nourish the kidneys, if you rub in the opposite direction, you are spreading the chi away. When you rub the kidneys, you do not have to press heavily. Place your hands on the skin firmly and circle. In just a few minutes or so, you will feel the chi inside near the kidneys circulating in the same direction. This means that you have improved the chi circulation there. Naturally, you will be more relaxed and the massage will be more effective if someone else can massage you. This direct massage is very effective and useful in winter time. Please remember that you should warm up your hands first. Cold hands will drain chi from the kidneys. Massaging the bubbling wells, massaging the bubbling well cavities is probably the second best technique in nourishing the chi and improving the chi circulation around the kidney. The bubbling well cavities belong to the kidney chi channel. Usually the thumb is used to massage these two cavities with a circular motion. You may rub your palms against each other first until they are very warm, then place the centers of your palms laogong cavities on the top of the bubbling well cavities. In this case, you are using the heart fire to nourish the kidney water. Massaging with movement. Massaging the kidneys with movement is a common Wai Dan Qigong practice and is used in such exercises as the eight pieces of brocade. Ba Duan Jin. The method is simple and very effective. Generally, there are two major movements which are able to massage the kidneys and improve the kidney's chi circulation. The first movement is bending forward. This structure and tenses the two major sets of muscles on the sides of the spine and presses down on the kidneys which are beneath them. You should stay there for about five seconds and then straighten your body. This releases the pressure on the kidneys and lets them return to their original state. Doing these movements repeatedly massages the kidneys. The second movement is twisting your upper body to the sides. Though the muscles are stretched differently than in the preceding exercises, the principle and effects are the same. This movement, in addition to massaging the kidneys, also loosens the entire spine and the back muscles and increases chi circulation in the governing chi vessel, dumai. In the back, you may also combine the last two movements to massage your kidneys. I will try to add the pictures into the video.
That's all. Hope it helps. Thank you. Bye.